it's not an alcoholic. Um, Olava, what do you have? What do you do when someone misgenders you or your friends? Well, I, well, when it comes down to me, it's quite easy uh, to explain. I correct them, but I'm also very strategic in that. I don't correct everyone and not everywhere. I am very much, uh, because me correcting people on my gender pronouns also means me coming out as trans. And that's not necessarily something that uh, will go well every time so i'm very strategic there are places where if people misgender me i correct them and there are places where i'm like mm, just look away and be like sure i have this he person fine um where it is other people my friends when they're being misgendered i first of all try to make sure that i am that i know whether my friend is out as trans to these people so I wouldn't necessarily like correct a misgendering unless I'm sure that the person involved, my friend, has come out everywhere, right? Or at those in, the, in those particular circles that I'm moving, because you don't want to out somebody as transgender who hasn't uh, decided, who hasn't come out yet, because it can have some serious impact on their life, on their work, on their family, a lot, on their safety. So that's one. Second, um, I try to correct as often as I can because um, I think it's very important. I think our gender is a very important part of our identity and how people see us, you know, like how people, the pronouns that they use is very indicative of how they see us. And I can tell you this much, being misgendered is very much a, a way that people are refusing to see you the way that you have told them that you want to be seen the way that you have told them that you are who you are and that is very violent and it can cause a lot of pain a lot of trauma it has a very real impact on us and on the people so when i hear misgendering and i know i can do so and it's safe i correct because i know by doing that i am helping this person align the way that they see my friend with the way my friend uh, identifies and who they are. And that's really important. It is also, I think, an opportunity for the people involved, for the people misgendering. I think it's an opportunity for them to grow and learn and, and, and sort of um, be more respectful and be more uh, um, appreciative and more empathic and sympathetic to others around them. So when people misgender people, I will tell them, I will correct them if I can do so safely, because I think it makes them also as, as, as people better, better friends, better lovers, better colleagues, better comrades, better everything. Hey, I love these Olave Explains. Hashtag Olave Explains. But <laughs> I need your help. I need to know what it is you would like me to explain to you. So please get on our Instagram, Olave Talks, our Facebook page, Olave Talks, and our Twitter, Olave Talks, or in the comments below, and let us know what you would like us to explain to you. What would you like us? To explain, we have, we obviously do not claim or guarantee that we will get it right though. We don't know.